What's up, fam? This is your boy, El Jefe, and I am here to talk to you about the Ear Fun Free. Now, these two wireless earbuds come in right about 50 bucks. I'll leave links for Amazon right down in the description box down below. Make sure you check that out if you are interested. And as an Amazon associate, I do earn revenue on qualifying purchases, so just throwing that out there. Now, before we go any further, and for full disclosure, this is actually the second set of these earbuds sent to me by EarFun for my honest opinion and review. And if this is your first time here, maybe you're not familiar with the way that I do things, whether I go out and buy the product myself or if a company sends it out to me for review, I'm always gonna keep it 100% real with you and let you know whether or not they're worth your hard-earned money. So with that said, let's jump right in. So first, let me give you a little bit of a backstory and why I said this is my second set. So when the ear funds first came out, I believe they were on Kickstarter or Indiegogo, something like that, months ago. So when they first dropped, they went ahead and sent me a set. Unfortunately, during my testing, those earbuds died, like completely died. I tried to recharge them. I tried to repair them. Nothing would work. And because they were still on a, you know, on a Kickstarter type of campaign, uh, review samples were limited, so they couldn't send me another set. So unfortunately, I was never able to drop a review video on them during the first wave of them having come out. Hence why this earphone review has taken so many months to actually happen. So they finally reached back out to me and sent over a set so that I could run this review. Now, these have been on the market for a while. You've seen a lot of videos from a lot of different people, but I figured you might still be interested in my opinion on a set of True Wireless earbuds coming in at 50 bucks. So first, let's talk about some of the things that I don't like, or maybe I'm being nitpicky about. These have button controls and not touch control. Now that inherently is not a bad thing because the button control on these is actually very good. It's very tactile. It's not hard to push. The pinch method is probably your best bet when it comes to push buttons, but that in itself is not bad. The mechanical action is not bad. My gripe with it is the fact that they don't have any volume control. So, you know, you can still skip track. You can play pause. You can answer phone calls. You can access your Google assistant or your assistant of choice. But yeah, there's, there's no volume control on the earbuds. So I know for a lot of you, that's a major no, no. And for me, it's like an annoyance. I wouldn't say it's a deal breaker for me, but it is an annoyance. So, but I figured I would throw that out there. Now, thirdly, these don't run Aptex, which in, in and itself, it's really not that bad. They do have the AAC codec. So if you're gonna run an iOS device, they sound excellent on that. And it actually uses the AAC codec when I'm running them on my Pixel 3a XL or my Galaxy S10 Plus. So testing them across those three devices, it actually worked very well and it sounded pretty good. But that's just one of those things. There's a lot of people out there who are Aptex junkies or think that if the earbuds don't have Aptex, they don't sound that good. But you know what, I, would, I figured I would throw that in there. So with that out of the way, let's talk about some of the other features and the things that I do like about these earbuds. So first of all, let's talk about the comfort. Now, comfort is highly subjective because everybody's ears are shaped differently, but the ergonomics on these earbuds actually fit me very, very well. And they actually fit really snug. So I don't have any issues with them falling out of my ears or anything like that. And you know, surprisingly, right with the ear tips that came right in the box, popped them into my ears, they sealed up perfectly, and I was off to the races. Everything sounds good. So, you know, comfort wise was surprisingly good. I probably sat with these for about two and a half hours before I really started having any sort of, you know, discomfort issues. And discomfort with earbuds basically is based on your ears. So, you know, them being very comfortable for me might not be the case for you because all our ears are different. But so far, nice and comfortable. Now, next to the things that I like, they are running Bluetooth 5. Just like most solid earbuds in 2019, they're running Bluetooth 5. Um, not only that, they're also using the AAC codec, like I said, so you do get HD audio. And as far as latency goes for watching videos on my Android devices, there is no latency on my Android phones, YouTube, Hulu, Netflix, all that stuff, no latency whatsoever. The only time I get a little itty bitty tiny bit of latency, just like I've said in so many videos, is on the YouTube app for iOS. This is a YouTube app for iOS issue, not an earbuds issue. So only on that app on iOS do I get a little tiny bit of latency. With Netflix, Hulu, and the other apps on iOS, no latency. So, but I just wanted to throw that out there. And then people who are gonna be trying to use these for you know first person shooter gaming and anything like that where you need to have it where there's no latency, don't, don't do it, it's not for that. Um, if you're just playing other games, other mobile games that are more casual, these are excellent. The sound quality in these is excellent for that sort of thing. So by all means, try it. But if you need something that has to have that super quick response with no latency, mobile gamers, stick to the wired earbuds. 
Trust me on that. Next up, these are also fully IPX7 sweat and waterproof. So you don't have any issues with getting them totally soaked. I mean, you could probably theoretically shower in them. I haven't done it, but I'm sure you probably could and it wouldn't be an issue. So I've sweated in them thoroughly and profusely and I haven't had any issues with them cutting out, no sorts of problems. So IPX7 rating on deck, I love it perfect for that sort of thing. So if you're living an active lifestyle, you're somebody that wants to wear these buds while you're working out or whatever it might be, these are a good choice for that. Next up, let's talk about the case. So the case itself, excellent, very pocketable, perfect shape on it. And I forgot to mention it before, you can get these in black or white with the cases also being black or white. So that's pretty cool. And not only that, on the case itself, you get USB type C. So that's always a plus in my opinion. I know there's a lot of people that are still running devices with micro USB, or maybe you're living the lightning lifestyle. It is what it is, but these are running USB-C for recharging. Not only that, they're also Qi wireless charging compatible. So you can drop these on your Qi wireless charging pad and it will recharge the case. So that's another bonus and something that is rarely seen on earbuds under 50 bucks. And that brings us to the topic of battery life and playback time on these earbuds. So as far as the case itself, you do get an additional 24 hours worth of playback time, which works out to right around four additional charges on the earbuds. As far as the earbuds themselves, I managed to pull out five hours and 32 minutes at 75% volume. That is pretty legit, especially when you consider the fact that they are claiming six hours with a playback time, which I'm sure they probably tested it at like 50% volume. I tested like 75 to 80%. So I managed to get five hours and 32 minutes. That is exceptional battery life for an earbud under 50 bucks, almost six hours. And I'm sure you could pull six hours out of them if you listen to them at a lower volume. So. That's pretty legit. Not only that, they also feature a quick charge. So if you want to recharge them, like maybe they ran out on you and you want to go ahead and, you know, get them going again, 10 minutes in the case will give you two hours worth of playback time. To fully recharge these from zero actually takes right around an hour and a half. So still not bad. So as far as battery life, that's one of my favorite things about these earbuds because five and a half hours worth of playback time is great. It's great. Most of the earbuds that are under 50 bucks are struggling to get you four hours. So this is an awesome bargain as far as that goes. Next up, let's talk about that phone call quality. Now, unfortunately, these do not offer dual mics. They only have a mic on the right earbud, which is the master earbud. So that sort of makes sense. So there's no dual mic as far as that goes. Now they do offer stereo calling. So if you're making a phone call with both earbuds in, you will hear the voice coming through both sides. So that's, that's a nice bonus. But if you're gonna make phone calls, it has to be with the right earbud. You wouldn't be able to do it on the left one alone. Also because it wouldn't be able to connect with the left one by itself anyway. So makes sense, right? So it's sort of similar to what the situation that we had with the JLab JBuds Air, the original version, not the Icon. So similar to that type of a situation. Now, as far as the call quality, it's not bad. I mean, indoors, it's actually pretty good in my opinion. Outdoors, it's another story. But let me play these call quality samples for you. Let you be the judge. All right, so here we have the indoor call quality test for the earphone free true wireless earbuds. Now, as far as I can tell, these only have one microphone on the right side, but for it being one microphone, it actually sounds pretty good for the phone calls. But as always, you let me know what you think down in the comment section. All right, bam. So this is basically what it would sound like if I was inside of a restaurant or a cafe, uh, similar to what my boy Gameski does in his videos. As you can tell, these are picking up quite a bit of background noise and the microphone is having trouble discerning my voice. So for cafe shops or crowded spaces, these might not do too well. But you be the judge. Let me know in the comment section. So what do you think? Like I said before, indoor, I think it's pretty good. Outdoor, there's a lot of feedback. Like they, like the earbuds are trying to like cancel out the background noise coming in, but it's just not doing a good job of it. So just keep that in mind. If you're somebody who really wants earbuds for phone calls, these might not be the right ones for you. Now, last but not least, let's get into the volume and the sound quality. So these, as far as my Android devices go, have excellent volume. Not the loudest that I've ever heard, but not a surprise for an earbud that comes in for under 50 bucks. Now, here's a little bit of a weird thing. When I paired these up to my iPhone 11, they were actually a little bit louder. So like maybe one or two notches louder, which was kind of a surprise, caught me off guard, wasn't sure what was happening. So I went ahead and repaired them up to my Pixel and to my Galaxy S10 and it was noticeable, like 
just like two clicks louder on the iPhone 11. So and we're talking about at max volume and I'm not gonna be listening to these at max volume. So yeah, I was kind of surprised, but the volume overall is excellent. But let's talk about the sound quality. Now, shout out to my man Olav from Olav's Gadgets. If you guys are audiophiles or into headphones, things like that, you probably know his channel. He has one of the most technically based channels that I've seen and he knows his stuff. The guy is a legit audio dude. So he had a hand in how these were tuned. He was giving Earfun, you know, some advice and some pointers on how to get these like tuned correctly. So these to me, to my ear, they sound freaking excellent. For 50 bucks, these are unbelievable. I was like very, very pleasantly surprised. Now, the first time I tried these out, they sounded great until they died. But this time around, I am highly impressed considering all the other earbuds that I've tested in all this time. So these are easily gonna end up being top three under 50 bucks for sure. Not even, not even a question. Deep bass. Man, these bring some seriously nice bass with good extension. Mid-range is right there, nice and flat, nothing, nothing too crazy there, and the treble is nice and crisp. It isn't like super clear or super highly detailed like you get with the Light Protect Heavy, but it is very nice. Overall, it is a very well-rounded sound. I am very surprised with this level of sound quality at 50 bucks. Nothing sounds overly boosted where it's like all up in your face, nothing like that. It is very nice, very well-rounded, and there even is a little bit of a soundstage. Not super wide, but it is there. It is noticeable on the correct tracks. So if you're listening to stuff from like Postmodern Jukebox, or even like Rage Against the Machine, maybe some Sublime, stuff that has like a band and instruments, even if you're into classical stuff, you can hear a little bit of that soundstage if you're using something like Tidal with master quality tracks, something that's got high quality playback, you can hear the difference and it's noticeable. So definitely. The sound quality of these for 50 bucks, dude, <laughs> listen to your boy El Jefe. These are legit. The earphone free are freaking legit. So with that said, do I recommend you go out and pick up the earphone free? Absolutely. freaking lootly. These have to be, like I said, easily top three for earbuds under 50 bucks. Now, I'm not going to say whether they're number one, number two, or number three, because I do have a video coming out on the top earbuds under 50 that's coming out pretty soon. Just waiting on a couple of other earbuds to arrive so I can do some testing. But with that said and out of the way, these are highly recommended. 100% El Jefe approved. If you're on a tighter budget, you know, $50 or less, these, these should be at the very top of your list because they are excellent. You can get them in black or white, whatever suits your style. For what they're bringing to the table for $50, consider it. So the things that they left out, right? No true mono mode, no dual mics, no volume control. All right, they left that out, right? But for the things that they bring, Qi wireless charging, USB type C. You also get quick charging, almost six hours worth of battery life and legit, legit sound quality. These are easily worth the $50 buy-in. Take that from your boy El Jefe, 100% approved. So with that said, let me know if you have any questions, concerns, comments, anything like that down in the comment section. If you want me to compare them to some other earbuds, I'll go ahead and do that for you in the comment section. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, concerns, anything about that, leave it in the comment section. And if you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button. If you didn't like this video, hit the dislike button. There's always one or two of you out there. I don't want you feeling left out. And if you haven't done so already, consider joining the fam. Hit that subscribe button along with that small notification bell. And this way you never miss any of my weekly videos. So with all of that said, I hope I brought you some good value today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have an awesome week and I will see you in my next video.